In this demonstration, you'll learn how to generate contacts using three different methods. The first two are automatic, using a template or the interface generator. The third method is to manually set up contacts and modify contact properties. I'll start by selecting a simulation template from the study panel. I'm going to select the structural template, and then select a static analysis. On the options list, I can specify if I want contacts in the interface of the bodies detected automatically using default settings. I'll select this option so that contacts are generated as part of the template process. I'll select the file for this crank assembly. AIM loads the geometry and sets up a simulation process with typical default settings for geometry, mesh, physics, and results. In the Physics Solution task, you can see that AIM automatically generated two contacts for this case. Let's take a look at these contacts. This first contact is between the crank and the bar at two faces each. At the bottom, you can see that AIM has also generated a set of behavioral properties for the generated contacts. Now, I'll select the second contact from the navigation bar. You can see that this contact is between the bar and the crankshaft at three faces each. It uses the same set of behavioral properties as the first contact. Contact behaviors are designed to be independent of a specific contact, so you can apply them to multiple contacts as needed for your physics solution. Next, I'm going to show you how to automatically generate contacts yourself if you aren't using a template. I'm now at the same point in my process as I was earlier, but because I didn't use a template, no contacts were automatically generated. Instead, I'm going to use the interface generator to generate contacts for the model. To begin, I'll add an interface generator from this Add menu. By default, AIM generates contacts for the physics region, which in this case is the whole model. I can also select specific bodies for the location. AIM automatically suggests a default tolerance, but you can also set this tolerance to a specific value. By default, the interface generator creates one set of behavioral properties that will be used by all generated contacts. When I click Generate Interfaces, AIM automatically generates contacts for the model using the default tolerance. When it's finished, you can see the generated contacts here. Because I'm using the same crank assembly, AIM generated the same two contacts it did when I used the template and both contacts are using the same set of behavioral properties. When you delete the interface generator, it removes the interface generator and all contacts and contact behaviors generated by it. I can also create contacts manually. To begin, I'll add a contact from this Add menu. I need to set the locations for the contact between the crank and the bar. I'll select these two faces and add them to location 1. Then I'll select these two faces for my second location. I'll choose to create a new contact behavior. If a contact behavior already existed, I could select it here. Each contact behavior is automatically created using defaults. You can change these defaults to customize your contacts. For example, you can change the contact type from bonded to no separation. Additional behavioral properties are available if you click this filter icon. Now, I'll create a second contact. I've set the locations to the faces of the crankshaft. I'd like to use the same set of contact behaviors I specified for the last contact. So, instead of adding a new contact behavior, I'll select the contact behavior I just created for the last contact. This concludes this demonstration of the three methods for generating contacts.